Islamophobia in the press can come in many forms. We've had front page stories about one in five Muslims support uh, jihadis. Uh, we've had uh, comment pieces like The Muslim Problem, capital M, capital B. Uh, enclaves of Islam see UK as 75% uh, Muslim. School children banned from singing Silent Night. All these stories were in fact uh, untrue, but even during the Leveson inquiry, it was obvious that uh, editors were asking uh, journalists to go out and find Muslim stories because to scare people uh, by putting uh, Muslim stories on their front pages sold papers. Fear sells. Sometimes the newspapers will put out an online story. It subsequently turns out to be untrue and they will take down that article occasionally. But by that time, the far right will have picked it up. It will have been shared via Facebook and Twitter and being seen by and believed by many, many individuals. And what's worrying is that even if the original story is taken down, there is no mechanism for going through the system and clarifying and putting right all the harm that has been caused by this initial false story. And I think it's important that what we uh, remember from history is that what starts out as angry and nasty words can sometimes manifest itself into nasty and angry actions on our streets. And already we have seen a rise in hate crime. Specifically, we've seen a rise in Islamophobic hate crime. And when people are convicted of these hate crimes, they have often and cited what they have read in newspapers as a way of forming their ideas about British Muslims. I think campaigns like Stop Funding Hate are absolutely essential because what they're saying is that the public have a right to vote with their feet and with their money. And ultimately, look, as a conservative, as somebody who believes in the free market, I think it is a very centre-right uh, position to be able to say that the market should respond to this hatred by saying, we find this unacceptable. This is not in accordance with my values. We don't want you to be selling your brand in a paper which doesn't accord with the ethics that I want to be buying from.